Squire, Squire, yo, what is up, guys? How you guys doing? I hope everything is f***ing phenomenal. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day, guys. 50% off the entire website right now. No panics on that code. You see our chest bag. You see the, the merch. Click the link below and get 50% off. No code. It's already there, guys. <laughs> So today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys two things. One, I sold my Urus. Bruh. Yes, guys, my Lamborghini Urus is f***ing sold, and it's official, guys. I got a wire on the way. I got a wire for like almost 20 bands coming. We sold this so I don't owe nothing on the car. I don't owe nothing. It's not in my possession anymore. We owned the car for like three months. Mm -hmm. Three months we owned the car, not long, but it got high in miles, guys. And then obviously, I have some investments coming up that I need to have it off my credit. So, we're gonna wait for the investment to get done, then repurchase another car. So, that's what we're gonna be here doing here today. We're gonna be test driving two cars. Jordan's been wanting a G Wagon, and I said, hey, you know, if everything plans out, I can get it for you for Christmas. That'd be my Christmas gift to you. So, she's here to test drive a G Wagon today, and I'm here to test drive a BMW X5M. See if I'm gonna use that for my daily. Is that the better version of Rob's car? Yes, yeah, a way better version of Rob's car. Yes. You oh, guys I see, see that? You guys see, I have the BBC here, right? Big black car, guys. Don't think negative, guys. And then we have my Hellcat here. This is my baby. This ain't going nowhere. We're never selling this. I'm paying it off. Those two cars are staying in the fleet, but I do want one more car. I do have the Huracan pulling up. Rob should be here in any second. We're dropping that off to get um, something done with the bumper. We're doing the bumper. So, now I have that. So, I have three total cards right now. I'm going to add four Jordan's car, five of my car. We're going to have five cars in the fleet so far. I don't know if I'm going to get it before Christmas, after Christmas. I'm going to figure the f out. Who f knows? Is it a Christmas present to myself again? Maybe. It's like Christmas every day, guys. You know what I mean? But we only come to one dealership, guys. We're here at Falcon Motor Group again. You think you're tired of seeing our faces? Probably. I, I feel mean, like we're here so often with a car. Like, another car. I, I keep buying them, though. It's not like I don't buy this shit. You know what I mean? It's like I'm coming here for nothing. Where the f is Rob at? He needs to hurry up. And that's my third baby right there, guys. As you know, the collection is fucking fire. I'm not gonna lie. The collection is collecting. So let's go look at two new cars that we're potentially gonna be getting. The G-Wagons, obviously for her, I don't want that sh And I want like a daily daily. Like a, I, I want my own SUV. Jordan has her own SUV, I want my own SUV. Obviously the truck, I can daily the truck. Everybody's gonna say that. But why not have two SUVs? It's life. How'd it feel, bro? Uh, super cool. Super scary to drive. Just because I know it's not my $200,000 <laughs> on the road. Nice car. My, Thank you. my dad's car. It's really nice. It's my dad's. <laughs> Come on, let's go look at these two cars. Come on. I hate you so much. I can get out. You got the key, right? Yo, yo, I'm not gonna lie though. There was a couple times on the you highway. The I'm like, I can make it under this truck. I can do the fast and furious. Fast and furious. I can, I can make Come it under this truck. Good, good. Come on, baby. Yeah, let's go. Come on, baby. Right. Let's look at this damn car. Thank you, E. Cool. Thank you. So you guys, like we said, we're here to look at two cars, X5M, possibly for me, and then uh, the G63 for Jordan. So let's go check them out. Come you got an X5M, I'm banging my shit out into yours, just so you know. <laughs> I feel like I want to drive it just to piss Rob off. I'm going to get that car. Fuck it. You guys sold some cars. Or side by side. Nice. Perfect. I'll let Jordan go first. As you can see here, we have the G63 that Jordan, um, It's this is not the one she's actually going to be getting. This is the same exact spec, but we want to make sure she actually likes the car before going ahead and purchasing the car from the other person because it's through the other consignment, right? Correct. So it's mm -hmm. another person. We want to make sure she actually likes the car. Some people got mixed reviews. They said they love the car and some people said they hate the car. How much so, is this? 110,000. And then this one's for me. I will be looking at this one. Maybe I can pick this up. Just a daily, I don't know, fucking big turbo, 1,000 horsepower SUV. You it's sick, bro. Now, no, so you don't like 650 wheel you have around this, but if you upgrade the turbos, you have like eight, nine hundred wheel. Yeah, it's crazy. Nice. Yeah, hit him with the B-roll. Start it up. Uh. Sound louder. I thought it'd be worse back here. Holy sh**. You know what's funny? It might be actually a little more spacious than the Urus. I'm not gonna lie. This, it's, it's definitely nicer than the Urus in the interior. Like 100%. I love, I'm way loving way this energy. That's Sports. As Rob would say it. Sports. Alright, Jesse, so we can go. Uncomfortable because you 
because you had the Yaris before, but I absolutely love this car. I Honestly, I thought it would be worse in the back seat. It's not bad back it's here. It's not bad at all. It's comfortable for me, babe. The boxy part doesn't bother me because I love the Rubicon that we had. Oh, I love it. I'm glad I actually got to test drive it. And the only reason why I wanted to test drive it because everyone told me, oh, you're not going to like it. It's not a it's not better than the Urus, but I wanted to make my own judgment about a car that how I would, would drive. Compare, how would you compare them, in your words? I mean, honestly, I don't think you can compare it. I think they're two different cars. Good. I'm glad you said that, because if you said this was better than Urus, I'm going to choke <laughs> the out. No, I don't think it's... Butter from the front of the seat. <laughs> you <f> liar. <laughs> this is nice, though. Like, I, like, would I be mad replacing it with... No, hell no. This is really nice. This is a really nice car. And this is like kind of the same spec as the one that we're going to be buying? Pretty much. Yeah. It's the exact same thing. I believe that one's got red interior. Though. Even better. Yes, red right interior. Nicer. Just gotta rip that wrap off because that wrap is. So it has Eric been one step closer to getting a G wagon. It's always been my dream, guys. I've always wanted to. I say, but you had a car that cost double this. Like, what are you talking about? But I've always wanted a G. Wagon. Like, yeah. No, but I said no. You're it's stepping, not my dream you're stepping car. Stepping down, bro. I'm just letting you know. You're stepping See, down. Here you go, trying to compare you're the Urus. Down. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's nice. You're gonna take a right here. But I like it. Nah, it's very nice. I think it's a perfect car for you. We throw some four G autos on this bitch. Right here. Ten. Yeah, I like it a lot. I liked it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a perfect car for Jordan. Good. Good. When you tune in with downpipes, it'll sound better and be a lot faster. So what do you think? One out of 10. 10. 10? Seriously? I love it. All right, looks like we gotta buy a G-Wagon. Awesome. I love it. So basically guys, since the Yaris was roughly around a quarter million dollars, I have so much wiggle room from paying from that car to this car. Obviously a very big difference, guys. I'm getting this, I'm getting Jordan's car at a good deal. I'm not even gonna tell you the price. I'm getting Jordan's car at a very good deal. So I'm thinking about buying one more car for me and just add it to my collection. Obviously, once again, I have the Hellcat, the pickup truck and the Huracan, but I don't wanna daily drive my, my Hellcat because it's more of a collectible for me. At least that's my like, Price possession. Huracan, it hurts my back. Obviously, it's like more of a flex type vibe. It's not an everyday car. The truck is an everyday car, but it just gets so f***ing big at some points, guys. Like, sometimes it's just annoying, but I like big and annoying, so that's why I bought the car, obviously. Not complaining about it at all. So what do you do when you just have too many cars you can't drive? You buy another one so you can drive it. I don't think it should be the XM5. Yeah. I never drove one, so I'm excited to actually get in there and no, drive it. I think it should be a Tesla. We don't have no electric cars. How about we get you the Tesla, no, no, and then no, you no, give no. me the G-Wagon? No. All right, then. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> exactly how I feel. If I just want to jump in a car and go and not have no issues, I don't want to put miles on that. Right? Obviously, I love that car. I don't want to put miles on it. Cool. So what you do is you park it up. You don't put miles on it. You drive it, you know, whenever you want. The truck is going to be a perfect daily. I'm not going to lie, but it's just going to be too big at some point, right? So what do you do? You buy another car because obviously this hurts your back when you drive it every day. So you drive it one or two days a week. You drive that one one or two days. And you drive the X, whatever car I get next, one or two days. And then wait, that wait. stays parked. I bought four cars and I can't drive none of them. I feel like in your I head, you reason with yourself as to why you feel That's like you why. need something. I do reason. You know, why I re you know why I reason myself? Because I was very comfortable with paying for all my cars. I had to get rid of the Urus to make a better financial decision to, to get property. So what I'm going to do is... The G-Wagon. That's Jordan's. You make it sound like she does. You can't but this is the funny part. I say, yo, because it is a big difference in payment. I'm like, let's just get one car. No, no I need two. We'll for get the price of one. I'm like, we'll what? get your car, and then later on, we'll get my car. You can daily the G wagon. I'm waiting for the X5 to come out. See how I like it. I've never drove one before. Um, I hate Robs to death. So. This is hard, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's hot. What's up, baby? fire. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is hard. I didn't think I was gonna like it this much. Oh, that's fire. Oh my god, I hate him so much. Yeah, man, this, this is, this is nice. different. This is very nice. Than the Urus, oh, Rob, does your roof go all the way back? Yeah. Do you even have a sunroof? Yeah, mine goes no all the way back. <laughs> You're just being a real big hater now for no reason. <laughs> I'm putting the track more. Alright, let's see if we can put my seatbelt on. Remember, your daughter's in the middle. I'm not going, I'm not going You crazy. just said, let me put this on track mode. Let I gotta me put see my how I like the car. Alright, guys, so technically, I'm looking for the daily for all my dailies. But it's really nice, very different. I just don't see you in the BMW. Nah, you don't see me? Me neither. You don't like me in it? No. It's not you? Yeah, this don't feel you. What do you think, more like uh, Aston Martin truck? Maybe. Yeah. But this ain't you. All in all, honestly, I like the G-Wagon better than this. This is nice, but the G-Wagon is better. 
I think it's a very, very, very nice car, but it's not, you. It's not me, 100%. But I do like the car personally. Like, Rob, it ain't even you. Ah. No, you're grumpy. You're hungry. I do like it. I like it a lot. I like the body of it. To the I don't right. think it. I don't think it fits the fleet. What do you it's think, okay. April? It's cool. I don't think so. I don't think it fits the fleet. It doesn't fit the fleet, right? No. It doesn't fit the the, like, like, the look, personality. Look, my job is to sell the car, but <laughs> I will tell you that the Urus suits the Urus is more you. I think I'm more. I think I, I think I'm so sold on the S, the Bentley SUV. I think that's what I want. I haven't drove one, but I. I Let me change your mind because these are much quicker. Yeah, mm -hmm. the W12s though, those are no joke. They're fast. But they're a lot heavier. It's not even about the speed because I know I can fix anything. Like, hey, with downpipe and tune, you can fix anything. You know what I mean? I think it's more of the look for me. Like, driving around in that, that ain't it. Squirrel. All right, guys. So I wanna um, hey, then once we're done with the obviously the years so once I get picked picked up, let's move on the on the G63 G wagon. Let's buy that, get that done. So it looks like we did purchase a G63. It's just not here yet, and we just gotta finalize paperwork and get everything going. So hopefully next week and a half, two weeks, we have it done. Let's get it, brother. Good. Excited and goodbye, Urus. We don't have the Urus no more. And then I'm um, gonna be looking for a new car soon. So stay tuned. I got Jordan a car. Whenever we pick it up, we'll figure it out, guys. We don't, you don't know the color, you don't know the spec, you don't know anything about it just yet. So stay tuned for that. The one we saw is not the G Wagon she's gonna be purchasing. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. But make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do what you guys do best. And let me know, what do you think about the car tour so far with the garage? Obviously, you see what we have, and we just added the G Wagon, hopefully. Let me know, comment down below. I'll see you guys. I'm out. Peace.